Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something really fun and exciting. Today we're going to be recreating slime. And I'm so excited to do this. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm over here in my little um, chair station. I know we don't really like this lighting, but need a table to make slime. So that's why I'm doing it here. But anyway, the first slime we're going to be making is Chanel Number no. 2 by Joseph. Joseph Anthony's slime shop is called Unicorn Slime Shop or something like that. So the first thing you need is some light glue. So I have my gallon here I just recently got. And it was only 10 bucks. It was on sale. And I was like, yes. So I'm going to put a little bit in there. Okay, then it says add some lotion. So I have this lotion. It's whatever. I'm just going to add some we need scent so the scent um the chanel number two is scented like a bubblegum slime but i do not have any of those scents so i'm going to be using some perfume and if you guys watch my other haul this was in the other haul and i just saw chanel number two it should smell like perfume Oof, so strong i'm gonna mix that up so this is what it looks like so far now we need to add color so it says we um it needs a pale pink color, so I have these two colors. And he used a lot, ooh, a lot of this one. I have this much so far. And then we're gonna take a drop of this because he used that. So with the paint, how much paint I put in, I'm just gonna mix it up. Okay, so this is the color, and now I think it's a little darker, but that's okay. Um, and now I'm just going to activate it, and this the activator is just a teaspoon, uh, half a teaspoon of borax to one cup of water. Okay, so it came together really nicely. It is still a little sticky, so we're going to activate it a little more. This is the final product of the Delicious Bubblegum Chanel Number no. 2 slime. It's not... It's a little sticky, and it's a little jiggly. I don't know if that's because I added perfume to it or something, but yeah. Um, now, I also I also made an, another batch of, a huge batch of Chanel Number no. 2. So I'm just going to mix them together. So this batch is way, way thicker. I don't know why, it just is. Um, I think it's because I added a little bit of water into this one, so that made it a little jiggly. Um, so this one is super thick. This one is also a little bit more pinky than the bottom one. The bottom one's a little bit more pale. So, mixed together, it's going to be making a perfect color perfect texture and it's going to be just like the right one so this line was a complete success it's so awesome it's very similar it looks very similar um to the real one they also Looks like the texture is very similar. The color is right on. It's perfect. And I really like this one. But the scent probably is much different because this one smells like a very nice perfumey scent. And the other one was a bubblegum one. So, but anyway, this is great. And now I'm going to compare a final look. So this is the final look of this one. And then I'll put in a clip of the real Sonoma Okay. Kettle. Next time we're going to be making is a mint chip cloud cream from PG Babies. If you guys don't know what PG Babies is, it's a awesome sun shop. They are very known for their cloud creams because they are so fluffy and soft. So I'm excited to recreate it. Okay, so first you have to add in some white school glue. Um, the next thing you do is add the coloring and it's like a very light mint green. Okay, so I'm going to be using these two colors. So we're going to add a little bit of this aqua color. Then a little bit of this 
dark green color. Oh. Ooh, very nice. It looks like a pistachio kind of color. Um, I like it, so that's that. Next, you have to add black glitters to represent the chocolate chips. Okay, so I have the black glitter here, and she uses um, the chunky ones, not the fine ones. So she can actually, like, you can actually see the black glitters in there. So I'm putting in about that much. This is what it looks like so far. It says to add the snow, and I'm just going to be using this um, instant snow right here. Um, I actually made a video on this when I made my first um, cloud slime. So today I'm going to be making a cloud dough, and it's different. It doesn't drizzle like um, the real cloud slime, and it's very thicker and a little bit more fluffy. So... As it says add a tablespoon, about a tablespoon, which is kind of a lot. That's how much I'm adding in. It says you will start getting this weird texture, um, which is exactly what you want. And then you want to add a splash, just a splash of water, just to somewhat activate the snow, but not activate it fully to where it becomes a cloud slime. I'm just going to activate it. And she uses a half a teaspoon of water and um, four eggs to a cup of water. So that's what I'm going to do. And she also says it takes a lot of activator um, to activate this slime. as the snow and stuff, whatever. But yeah. Okay. So it is pretty sticky. It's not too bad, but it's on the sticky side. So... I'm just gonna need in some more activator and I'll be back. Okay, so I've been kneading for a while now and I understand why um, she said it's gonna take a lot of activator to like make the slime. Um, it's because when the um, snow and activator meet, you know, the snow activates so it becomes more sticky and such like that. So she also said if it's taking a while to activate, just leave it in a little little activator at the bottom of the bowl and just let it sit for at least a couple, uh, at least an hour, um, but just let it sit for as long as you'd like. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. So we're back with the, the mint chip um, cloud cream and I started playing with it and it is so, so incredibly sticky. Um, I need to keep activating it. So I think this is the best we're gonna get with this cloud dough um yeah it's not the best one it's not my favorite one either but it's very fun to play with and i very very much enjoy it it's on the stiffer side but that's totally okay and that is how to make cloud cream did you guys guess it did you guys think that it was cool let me know down below i'd love to hear from you Okay, so the next and final slime we're going to be making is Cucumber Melon by Trill Slimes. And this is a very nice, thick, um, light colored um, slime that smells very like calming and relaxing. So I'm excited to make it. Add by glue. Then we add a little, little shaving cream. And I'm going to be adding this scent as well. This scent is a cucumber melon mint scent, and that smells so good, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and all I added was a little bit of shaving foam, just to kind of thicken it up, and not make it a fluffy slime. I also added the scent, which smells so, so good right now. Um, and I also added, like, three pumps of lotion. Next, we're going to add the color, and it's a very, very, very pale green. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit like a drop on the tip of my spoon just to mix it in like do you see that that's all that's all i want right now so this is the final color it's very pale and i actually really like it it's very soothing and calming so now i'm just going to activate it with a half a teaspoon of borax and water you know same thing i've been using for all the rest of the slimes pulling off the bowl very nicely and this is a very thick slime because i can tell my arm is pain right now it's so hard to stir and I feel like the spoon is gonna like break, but it's okay. I'm just gonna start playing with it. It'll probably be a little sticky, but it's totally okay. It's totally normal. 
Ooh, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love the color. It feels like pale green, but it's so pretty. And it's very calming and soothing. It's a great slime to make if you're like mad or something. Because, ooh, this is nice. It's still super sticky though. Oh, why are you so sticky? This slime is amazing, and I think it's one of my favorite ones that I made. Um, next to Chanel number no. two, because that slime is amazing. That one's so thick, and I love, I love that one. So this is the final result of the cucumber melon slime, and I love it so much. Okay, but I really like it. Um, and oh my gosh, my hands are so disgusting. I'm sorry for that. But this one is so thick, and I totally recommend all these slime recipes. They're so awesome, and they turned out really, really nice. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you like this recreation of slime videos. If you do, comment down below and I'll keep making them. Check out my other videos and I'll see you guys later.